वेलकम टू गैस्ट्रो विजन आई एम डॉक्टर काजी सुहेल एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज अ गैस्ट्रो एंट्रोलॉजिस्ट एट गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज श्रीनगर आई ब्रिंग टू यू क्लियर एंड कॉन्साइज वीडियोज ऑन एंडोस्कोपिक अल्ट्रासाउंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैव डिस्कस एंडोस्कोपिक अल्ट्रासाउंड अप्रोच एट वेरियस स्टेशन टूडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ट्रांसिसोफेजल अप्रोच इन एंडोस्कोपिक अल्ट्रासाउंड लेट स्टार्ट After inserting the scope in the distal gastric body, keep turning your scope clockwise till you see a large and echoic structure extending from right to left side of your transducer. This structure is abdominal aorta. Now you will start gently pulling your scope back. While doing so, you can observe celiac artery arising from the abdominal aorta. This setup has been discussed already in lesson number 1 that is the trans aortic root of GE junction station observe the lymph nodes around here as hypoechoic structures now you will slightly withdraw your scope from the celiac artery bifurcation you will see a long and narrow low echo image just above the aorta This is the crust of the diaphragm and it serves as a reference to let you know the boundary between abdomen and mediastinum. Note it this structure will appear on the right side of your EUS screen because when you are withdrawing your scope this structure will first come in the view of the shaft beam for understanding the beam groups and how they are displayed on the screen you need to see my initial videos on endoscopic ultrasound now turn the scope counter clockwise to image the left hepatic lobe and left hepatic vein this setup has also been discussed in my previous videos you can now easily identify the left hepatic vein while slowly withdrawing the scope you can follow the left hepatic vein entering into the inferior vena cava let's now analyze the anatomical image here my transducer right now is at ge junction station facing towards right and towards hepatic hilum that means hilar structures will be in my central field of vision because they are in the range of central axis of the transducer if you analyze here on the right side of my transducer is right atrium and on the left side of my transducer is left lobe of liver now coming to the eus image the structure on the right side of your probe will be displayed on the right side of your eus image that's why you can see right atrium on the extreme right side of your eus image inferior vena cava is in the central field of the transducer that's why it can be seen as an anechoic tubular structure in the center the structures that are on the left side of transducer will be displayed on the left side of your eus screen here on the left side will be the hepatic lobe and the hepatic vein now start following the inferior vena cava towards the superior side while slightly withdrawing the scope you can observe the inferior vena cava passing through the diaphragm you can see a vertical red line this is the boundary between abdomen and mediastinum in other words i can say is a boundary between the structures in the range of tip beam and the structures in the range of shaft beam that's why in the eus image the mediastinum will be in the view of shaft beams that's why it will be on the right side of this border while viewing the inferior vena cava so slowly pull the scope and turn it clockwise after clockwise rotation from the previous position in which inferior vena cava was seen entering the right atrium which was on the right side of your scope let's analyze the anatomical image my transducer 
is facing towards left posterior direction, that is towards the heart. In this position, left atrium will be on the left side of your scope. Moreover, the acoustic beams from the tip portion will traverse from left atrium into left ventricle. That's why left atrium will be imaged in the left superior plane as compared to the left ventricle because of closer proximity to the probe. From the left ventricle, you can see ascending aorta arising superiorly and will be in the view of central beam. That's why aortic value and ascending aorta will be displayed in the central field. You can appreciate ascending aorta extending superiorly in the field of shaft beam also. That's why in the EUS image, you can see it in the central field extending to the left side. You can also see large and echoic tubular structure just inferior to ascending aorta. This structure is pulmonary artery. As left ventricle is anteriorly placed in relation to right ventricle, so is the origin of ascending aorta in relation to pulmonary artery. Moreover, the acoustic waves enter from anterior to posterior. That's why anteriorly placed structures will be closer to the probe. That's the reason why aortic shadow is superior to pulmonary artery shadow. Pulmonary artery also ascends parallel to ascending aorta till it bifurcates into right and left branch. The bifurcation will be in the range of shaft beam. That is on the extreme right of the screen. A right branch will move towards probe and left branch away. That's why closer to the probe. Now follow the pulmonary artery. While pulling the scope, the cross section of right pulmonary artery will emerge. While you withdraw gently, you will appreciate the bifurcation continuous with the right pulmonary artery, which can be seen as an anechoic tubular structure moving from left to right side of the scope. The tracheal bifurcation is also found in this region, which can be seen closer to the probe. Trachea appears as a patent oval anechoic structure with hyperechoic wall. Now, repeat counterclockwise rotation and clockwise rotation of the scope in this position to visualize multiple linear echoes. This enables you to accurately identify the tracheal bifurcation. As you pull the scope from the tracheal bifurcation, you will be able to identify the trachea visualized as multiple linear hyperechoes. Now, withdraw the scope slowly till you follow the trachea towards the superior side, that is, right side of the screen. While doing this, turn the scope counterclockwise till you reach at a position where right pulmonary artery is on the left side of the transducer and aortic arch on the right side. That's why you are now able to visualize the cross section of a right pulmonary artery on the left side of the screen and the cross section of the aortic arch on the right side. The region sandwiched between these two vessels is an area called AP window. Now, withdraw the scope further to identify the artery that branches from the aortic arch. Among the branches, the rightmost branch is brachiocephalic artery and the leftmost is subclavian artery. So, on anticlockwise rotation of the scope, you will first visualize the left subclavian artery, then the left common carotid artery and then brachiocephalic artery on the right side. That's all for transesophageal approach. Thank you and see you in the next video.